Okay. Okay, today we're discussing um, FL Studio 11 and um, trying to get familiar with it. It just came out about maybe uh, two or three weeks ago. And um, I'm really used to using the pattern blocks. But on 11, uh, the pattern blocks don't exist anymore. So they're trying to get us to use the clip tracks. And so we're going to open up uh, FL Studio 11. So let's open it up. Okay. Everything looks like it pretty much has always looked. Okay, and they, they did add like uh, clips and they kind of emulate the pattern blocks. So to get to that, you would just go to, uh, let's see, File. Go to New from Template. Scroll to Other. And then you'll see it blocks. It says emulates the workflow of legacy pattern blocks using locked clip tracks. Okay. So that's how you would get to the screen I'm on now. This is what it looks like. If you look off to your right corner on the top, you can resize the screen and make it look smaller, more like our good friends, uh, the pattern blocks. But just for this video, I'll kind of like increase the size to make it look a little bit, you know, bigger so you can see it more clearly. All right. All right. So we're just going to put together a quick little uh, hip hop track. Nothing crazy, very simple just to get the concept of um, using uh, split by channel to bring all of your sounds from your step sequencer into the playlist. So basically you're going to create your sequences right here first. So I'm going to increase the bar length to like 8. So just scroll right here. And I'm just going to scroll up until I get 8. Alright, cool. Alright. Go and uh, these are just the stock sounds that comes with um, FL Studio 11. And so we're just going to go to our uh, browser. You would hit this one to get to your browser up here. Okay, so now I got my browser. I'm just going to bring in some of the stock sounds. We'll start off with the kick first. So let's kick. And I'll, I'll choose the Lin Kick. So let me scroll down here. <clears throat> Lin Kick. Alright. And I'll just bring that into the step sequencer for my kick. And we'll go back over here. Let's see. There are symbols, got our hats. Let's go for the snares. And the snare I'm going to use is the ring snare. So let me scroll down until I find the ring snare. Let's see. Okay, ring snare, there it is. Alright. Boom, okay. And we're going to go for, let me see, the um, E kit one hats. So that'll be our hi hats. Let's see. Hat. And then E kit one hat. Just bring that in there. Okay. And we're going to go for our ride symbols. Let me see. We got our symbols there. Pap ride. Bring that pap ride right in. Okay. Boom. All right. That's in there. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just close down the browser right here real quick. Give us more screen real estate. Okay, and uh, we're just going to increase the bars. I already did that, so that's boom. Okay, so pattern one is what we're on. It's like about eight bars. And we're just going to do like a simple um, hip hop beat. Okay, and uh, so let's put our snares in place first. Boom. Okay. All right. And then let's put our kicks in place. And then we got our hat here. Simple like a 16th uh, note kind of thing going on. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. 
And uh, this snare, I'm not going to use that snare, so I'm just going to delete that. Go all the way down to delete. Say OK, it's gone. And then at the end of the bar, we'll just put like a little pap ride there. Okay. All right, all right. So, and uh, the tempo, I don't want a quick tempo. I'm going to bring it way down to like uh, 82. Let's see. All right, so that's set at 82. And uh, just a quick listen, nothing crazy, very simple little pattern. Oh, let me set that to uh, pattern, okay. Went up there and I set that to a uh, pattern. Okay, so hit play. Add a few more patterns for the kick. All right, cool. All right, and then, uh, you know, just bringing a quick little melody. We're just gonna use the stock stuff that FL Studio 11 comes with. So you're just gonna go back to the, let me see, the step sequencer. And we're just gonna go insert FL Keys. That's gonna come up, FL Keys is coming up. And we're just gonna go to a piano roll. Now we're in the piano roll. We're just going to use some simple notes. We're going to use like a B and a sharp A. Okay. All right. So there's my B. Start out with that. And then like a sharp A and a B. A and B. A. Okay, and then uh, we're going to use a B up here to end it. Let's see, right there. Okay. All right, so got that B up there. All right, so we'll hear how the whole thing sounds together. Very simple little melody and a little beat. All right. So let's hit play. So now we want to take everything that's on this um, step sequencer channel, all of our separate sounds. We're gonna we want to bring all of these sounds into the playlist. So instead of doing it one by one, you could bring it all in at the same time. So on the step sequencer, you're just gonna like uh, hit this little green area here, double click it, and everything is like highlighted. Okay, and near where it says pattern one, there's a drop down arrow. Click on that arrow and then scroll all the way down until you see split by channel. And now I hit split by channel. And now over here, this is track one, pattern one. All of those different sounds from the step sequencer are now on the playlist. So now I'm, go I'm gonna bring it and drag it over to the start. So let me just uh, close down the FL keys. And okay. And so we got our uh, Lin kick. Just drag that. We got our ring snare. Got our hi hat. We got our FL keys. Okay. And we got our pap ride. Okay, cool. All right. And so now we just want to get this to about like, I don't know, 17 bars. So we're just going to uh, start with the Lin kick, hold down control, highlight those, and now hold down the shift on your keyboard and then drag to your right. Position it. All right. All right, cool. And then do the same thing with the with the ring snare. 
Okay. Alrighty. And the hat, same thing, just hold down control, highlight it, hold down shift and drag it to your right. Making copies and then do that with the FL keys. Hold down control to highlight it and then hold down shift and drag to your right. Alright, and then our last one is the PAP Ride. Hold down Control, highlight it, hold down Shift, and drag it to your right. You're just making copies. Now it's about 17 bars long. Okay. Just let it play real quick. Oh yeah, put this on Song. Okay, and uh, we're just going to colorize um, the clips real quick. There's like a little symbol there on the left hand top part of the clip where the name is. Hit that. Scroll down to where it says re rename and color. And then uh, just choose a color and just hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, and do that with all the preceding other ones. Let's just quickly do that. Enter. All right. Enter, and then the same thing with the last one, the pap right. Boom. Okay. Enter. Okay. Cool. And then you know you can resize it over here. Make it look more like our good old friend uh, pattern blocks. And you can do variations and stuff just by taking instruments out and leaving some in. Give it a little variety for the verse. So we'll just take out the ring snare and the hat. Let that play. comes back in, bar 7, we'll take out the kick and the snare, so now the hi-hat keys and the pap ride are just playing, comes back in, and in the last bar we're just going to take out everything except for the keys. So, you know, that's like a, a quick little change up, switch up for your tracks, give it like a little variety just by taking sounds out, you know. And um, this is uh, this is to help you like transition over to, you know, the, the clip tracks because, um, you know, like I said before, the pattern blocks are gone. So all of us users that were used to using the pattern blocks, we have to get used to the clip tracks. If you're going to be using... FL11 and beyond. So this is one way to do it. Just uh, it's pretty easy. And anytime you want to bring up the step sequencer, just click on the track here, like the Lin kick, and there's your step sequencer. You would just bring whatever sounds you want to bring on. You bring it right in. So um, all right, that's about it, man. Um, I'll see you later. Thank you.